Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about the most important transactions regarding archiving, so regarding SAP Archive Link. And archiving usually takes place in an external archiving system that is linked to the SAP system and thus archives the important data in an audit proof manner. This it is a common requirement to archive data annually in database tables and to relieve the SAP table. In addition, it is a legal requirement to retain documents for a certain retention period for queries or audits. Archiving is an important topic in the context of Enterprise Content Management, so ECM. Here right now we can see the area menu. It's the area menu SOA underscore copy. So SOA uh, copy. It wants you um, yeah hit the enter this. Um, area menu ID and hit the enter key then basically you will open up the area menu regarding archiving and here you can see a lot of very very important uh, transactions regarding archiving and SAP archive link um, you can also set this area menu up as a start menu within the user profile so you can open up the transaction code SU3 hit the enter key and under default you can uh, type in and maintain the start menu or under system and then user profile user data you can also set uh, call the user profile and set this so a underscore copy as a start menu. So going one step back, um, I think now I would like to go through the very uh, important transactions regarding archive link. Um, yeah, let's start with the O. A um, one transaction. It's a transaction regarding the archive link monitor. Then we move over to the OAD five transaction. It's a transaction yeah to open up the archive link document type customizing wizard to yeah um, create document types and to link it also to a um, to the uh, document class and the, uh, the content repository and so on. So very important. And then we have the OAAD transaction. Yeah, to basically search for stored documents uh, manually. Then we have the OAC zero transaction to um, yeah to maintain the content repository so basically the link to the archive system via a content repository then we have the OAC2 transaction um, there to maintain the document types and then we have the OAC3 transaction to uh, maintain the links for the content repository. Pardon, links for content repositories based on the object type, document type, and the content repository ID based on the relationship. Then we have the OAWD transaction. So basically, within here, you can manually store documents. And then we have the OAD2 transaction. Basically, yeah, this is cross client. This is uh, okay to um, yeah, to maintain the archive link document classes. Then we have the OAA1 transaction to um, to um, yeah to to maintain the archive link selection of storage systems itself. And then we have the OAA3 to maintain the protocols, so the communication interface um, for archive link. Then we have the OAA4 transaction for the archive link application maintenance. And then we have the OAB4 transaction. Um, yeah, basically within here uh, you can um, yeah, set up um, a, a background job. Um, for um, archive link. Then we have the OACA transaction. Um, yeah, to uh, maintain the parameter definition of workflows. Then we have the OACH transaction for the communication um, for the jobs. 
um, then we have the OACK transaction as you can see right here they can basically do a customizing check for the content repositories very very important transaction then you have the OAER transaction you basically to search for business documents within the SAP system and then you have the OAG1 transaction yeah to um, to uh, get the basic settings of archive link and then you have the SOA zero transaction yeah basically to um, to show the workflow document types and yeah keep in mind to uh, display the SOA underscore copy area menu um, have a look execute those transactions um, look them in more detail and um, yeah the shown transactions are in my opinion the most important transactions if you have any questions left if you would like to get to know more about one specific transaction please put them in the comment sections and if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any questions left and do not want to miss great upcoming videos please subscribe to this youtube channel thank you so much and then see you in the next video